with a normal muffler. That's uh, all to do with the straight pipe. So we're gonna stick this son of a bitch in fucking, uh, probably in, I don't know what that is there, B, probably B1. Now we got this big fucking thing behind it. We're gonna just step it out of the way. What? I don't know. <laughs> How's your food, Booper? Whoa, he zoomed right in. What are you eating, Maya? Yes. What is it? A oh, yeah. What about you? Oh, eating a cracker, eh? <laughs> well, we're just out on Amanda's new pasture that she bought. <laughs> just going around the fence, but it was time to eat, so we're just having our, our little picnic here, so... I suppose, before the muskrat comes back out of the cattails and takes after Amanda again. <laughs> Finish eating, we'll bring you back in a few. Right, boy? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Keep going, little gaffers. So wild. <laughs> well, it's the next day. We're just sorting pears. Everything that goes in here is going to that pasture that we went around yesterday. And everything else is going back into the, the pears pen till uh, till we have another pasture ready. It just kind of get a couple groups out here would be good. So before seeding and all that. Last year was such a fuck up there with dad going on his holiday and kind of a shitty spring on top of it. Amanda and I trying to do everything ourselves to figure we'd get uh, a few of these things done with right now. Just a little head start. Get going, skunk. Don't forget your baby. Follow your mother. Anyway. Bring it back here in a minute. So there's 15 pears and then one cow. The cow that's out here had those set of twins. I had eight eyed her last year. So this is the new pasture that we bought. What are you doing, Rob? If I could just see what I was putting the nipple thingy on in here. <laughs> Rob can't see the nipple. I never get to see the nipple. <laughs> Shall we leave the shirt on? Well, Rob drew the short straw and he's greasing the drive line. <laughs> I don't really know how he ended up doing this job, but here he is. Uh, just 
me to hold that for you? So, I got the 895 in. Just giving her her once over. Ready? Yep. Yeah. I like to hear the seals crack. That's how you know the fucking grease actually got through it. That's fair. That's it. You're all done? Yep. All right, here you go. I get out way. I'm done back here anyway. Uh, oh, oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> anyway, we'll get things done being greased and then we just got to check the planetaries. I'll just fucking have a nap here on the creeper while you do that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, this video is kind of all over the place because it's gotten cold and fucking shitty so it's kind of hard to make a video of doing an oil change on a tractor who the hell gives a shit about that so ah uh, we're just out at the pasture here where we've got our 15 pairs on that stuff the land amanda and i'd bought um just giving them two bales lasts about four days because i mean you can see the grass was coming real good but now that it's gotten cold there's not not too much but whatever they're still they're kind of picky there's lots of old growth all over the place that's knee high they could go and eat at that but we're picky bitches eh brianne how come you brought us out here we want to go home to our shed hey come here fluffy old brianne oh yes that is a good heifer I guess you're not a heifer anymore, but you used to be. Hey, your second cavern now, even. Yeah. Oh, she's a good girl. Oh, there comes Amanda. There comes the food wagon. Hey, R5020 here. Well, this is Buddy's place now, though, so he's had it here, you remember, for when he was moving his bales and stuff around and had just spent the winter here because it was too cold and shitty to fuck around bringing that home so anyway i'll probably help her get the bales out of this thing since it's going to be a little awkward but this is a neighbor's trailer i borrowed to haul some scrap iron with i just had a bunch of loose junk so bringing it back at the same time so talk to you in a minute just thought i'd do a little update so we took those i guess there's 15 pairs and then one cow out to pasture we have a few left at home here. So this is a pear's pen. They have the shed over there. And then calf shelter here and calf shelter on the other side. But. Everyone's relaxing here. What? Where's your mom? Where's mommy? Now why are you running around? You ladies. That girl there is off of a uh, Bethel Park Cow Brett Charlet. So it's actually this one's daughter. Anyways, I'll bring you back in a minute here. That's a good spot. So this calf here is off of my uh, full blood bull. And there's off of 
one of Ivan's cows. Got a Buford baby there. There's Bottle Baby. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Nice shark calf right there. He's one, well, he's probably a week old now. This girl had a preemie calf. He's right there. He's not tagged or anything yet, but he's doing good now. Took a little bit, but he's good. Girls are eating at that bale. What are you doing? Well, shithead. Hmm? Huh? There's another McTavish baby. This is a Buford baby. This guy's a Buford baby, but his mama prolapsed, so uh, she's gone. Anyways, everyone's happy right now, so we'll let them be for now. Go steal or something, man. Go steal. I kept him for just in case we uh, needed a, another calf, but I might just sell him too. That 29 right there, that steer is off of my full butt also. And there's a white one there, is off that Speckle Park. So he's a Char Speckle Park cross. This one's a very later calving cow, so this number nine's gonna be later. That one's gonna be later. That's one of Ivan's. Fluffy's gonna be a little bit later. And then uh, the Red Angus Bull is going to Verdant Auction Mart here on Monday, so. If anyone's looking for a bull, you better go bid. He's 80 pound birth weight. Red Angus. Good for heifers. We have some calves here off of him too. But I got a cemental now, so we do not need him. We have six left to calve. And I had sold uh, two later calving cows yesterday just because I'm not calving me anymore, so they can just leave. Anyways. I suppose we'll go to the next pen and see what's up. Where is my bottle, he says. So this is the uh, full blood pen, except for uh, that calf there. She made her way in here somehow, that's Maya's calf. So I AI'd 11 animals. Six of them caught, and then I did one commercial, and, then, and she caught, so that's pretty good for my second year. Anyways, they're in the old bullpen, so the calves have the bin for shelter, and then we put oats out. But girls, we're just sitting here in the sun. What, Hank? Do you like the sun? <laughs> so six is a pulled heifer. Number three is a uh, pulled bull. Number seven, which is that one is uh, pulled, but could be homo pulled, so I'd have to test her. This heifer is, well, or was the last one born. She's a pulled heifer. 
So basically everyone who had bulls last year had heifers this year, and whoever had heifers last year had bulls this year. Havoc's laying down. They need bedding in her. Have to do that after. Oh, Barlow Baby's on the other side now. Number two is a bull. He's horned. Number one's a pulled heifer. And then five is a horned bull, too. This guy here. Hey, one. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? Hmm? So her mom is that 43G, and then the one laying down is this guy's. Well, you having a whiz? No? You buddy? You gonna come say hi? You gonna come say hi? No? Those two behind her laying down are maternal sisters. I guess that's enough in this pen, eh, one? New one? Yeah. Oh, don't lick my phone. Don't need to lick. I have to cyber verify to see who her, who her dad was because I had AI'd that cow last year. So I should be getting the results soon. Then we know for sure, 100%. You don't have to lick me. I know. You're eating my hair. <laughs> yes. Hi. Hi oh, you're gonna push me over. You're gonna push me over one. Ugh, gross. So this is the heifer pen. So this is this gray one is Sophia's heifer from last year. And then the full blood ones that I have in here, they were AI'd and then uh, turned out. And then this is our new bull. So instead of the Angus, we're gonna use full blood Simmental. Try him out. So he's a 70 pound birth weight. Cavanese of 10. He's a yearling. So I'm looking forward to his calves. There's one of the full bloods back there. And I guess the other two are by the house over there. And there's that fucking thing. I know. You're okay. Just need some goggles. This one is sold. But I am breeding for her for, for her new owner. So she'll leave uh, in the fall. Ringlet, what do you need? I got a pail in my hand. Because I just went and put oats in the bucket for the full blood calves. They go through a five gallon pail a day, so. Anyways, that's that, so.
Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I guess I haven't showed you this bowl because he was laying down before. Everyone's having a lick up their salt. This guy here is with the full blood cows. So you guys might remember him. I got him. I guess I used him. His first year here was last year. So. I really like his calves. They grow nice. They're, yeah, just everything about him. We'll see in the fall what they all look like. Anyways, that's it. That's all. Talk to you in the next one. He's hungry. Poor guy. What? <laughs>